close your eyes, and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for the people around you. May we all find true happiness. The reason we come to the monastery and to meditate is because we want true happiness, a happiness that doesn't let us down and a happiness that does, doesn't cause any harm to anyone. That's why we spread thoughts of goodwill not only to ourselves but also to others, because we have to remember that our happiness, if it's going to last, can't depend on their suffering. So we take them into account as well. What kind of happiness would spread out to all beings? Well, the happiness that comes from generosity, the happiness that comes from virtue, and the happiness that comes from meditation. This kind of happiness doesn't create barriers. The happiness of the world, it comes with material gain or status, getting praise, material pleasures. Those kinds of happiness create boundaries, because if one side gets it, somebody else has to lose it. There's only so much to go around. For the happiness that comes in generosity, you give something to someone else, that breaks down a barrier. You refrain from harming someone else, and that breaks down a barrier too. If you harm them, that creates barriers. And when you meditate, you're not harming anybody at all. And people can see that it, they're benefiting too. They can see it in your actions, they can see it in your words, that you're a different person when you've been meditating well. So this is the kind of happiness we want, a happiness that doesn't create boundaries, a happiness that erases boundaries. Because It's because of this kind of happiness that we can live together. Sometimes you hear that you know, we have to have an economy based on greed and based on letting everybody just go and get as much as they want. Well, look what's happening. The economy may be okay, but the country's falling apart because there's no emphasis on the happiness that erases boundaries. There's more happiness that creates boundaries. So look into the happiness that the Buddha recommended, a happiness that spreads its goodness around, a happiness that's based on skillful actions and leads to greater and greater happiness and deeper happiness inside. That's the happiness that's really worth looking, looking for, really worth searching for. The Buddha calls it a noble search, as opposed to the searches that most people engage in, just getting this, gaining that. There's nothing noble about that. Even animals go around trying to gain things like that. But what makes us human is that we understand generosity, we understand virtue, and we understand how to train the mind. So let's look for this happiness on a human level. And that will take us to higher and higher levels of happiness as well.